CS183 Lecture 12 is a handful of dirty, awesome, street smart things that you can do to practice selling and practice promotion and just practice going from person who reads and criticizes and evaluates and thinks and analyzes to a person who practices and executes. Not necessarily a perfection, but begins to practice uh, sales and practice doing things that don't scale but have momentum. Sell before you build. That's uh, from twitter.com slash paul2, T-O-O, not to the number. Paul, P-A-U-L, T-O-O. Sell before you build. Selling something that doesn't exist is selling vaporware, which people get very upset about. Selling something that exists currently is something new and unique and awesome because you're gonna actually provide customer service for something that typically doesn't have any customer service to it. For example, Google Places, for example, Yelp, for example, almost anything doesn't provide enough customer service, especially, exactly, Brady, even uh, Uber, where you can text support did you know that Uber used to have a five digit code and now it no longer does? The whole class of CS183S, uh, and this specifically lecture 12, is no different from the other 19 lectures, which is you wanna practice selling. And what better way to practice selling than to sell your way into a $3,000 technology conference where you don't wanna necessarily pay the $3,000 to get in. You want the conference to pay for itself. Uh, and that's to be done using sales and promotion uh, tips, strategies, techniques, and ideas that are all inside of lecture number 12, this lecture. So grab a pen, take some notes, and get ready for a wild ride. These are massively detailed, Eventbrite, Eventbrite, event like a party, bright, B-R-I-T-E. You're going to be engineering up a tidal wave of momentum, perpetual promotion machine. That's a protocol, EUTWM PPM. So you're initially gonna start with an 11 minute party that is months and months before the $3,000 technology conference. You're gonna start with networking in whatever city you're in and doing EUTWM PPM to begin to slowly make small amounts of money as you build up to the future conference uh, two, three, five months out. Example where in Wales, they're going the hashtag Wales to Paris. And what this conference is, is it's a technology for COP21. That's their hashtag COP21. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna sell tickets on Eventbrite and eventually market sold out. Exactly, Brady, sold out. Sold out's the best kind of thing because it makes your unlimited offering seemingly limited and seemingly in demand. And the event sold out on Eventbrite. Your startup has an unlimited offering of whatever data or tidbits or app data, whatever you're doing, it's unlimited. But when you mark something sold out in the real world, in the real world you've got a room, a really, really small room, and that really, really small room can be sold out, will be sold out. So then you'll see this tweet up to my, well, right there, this side, this side, where people will ask, hey, your event looks sold out, can I get on the wait list? Write this down, you wanna start building a wait list as soon as possible. Berlin Startup Employees number 20, sold out, sold out, see? There's no better way to generate enthusiasm for your new offering by marking something sold out. Brady thinks so. Brady whines when entrepreneurs don't mark something sold out. Please, please, please mark at least one thing sold out. You can cap it at 20 people in your micro small meeting room, just so long as you get a couple of small sellouts, which is why some bands only perform in small venues and they're completely worried about uh, that venue not selling out. When you don't sell out, it's a disaster. So then the faster you market sold out, you can then eventually increase and add more rows.
We'll reiterate this tweet, which is massively detailed recipe under gua gua guacamole number 11, which is how to sell out your event, how to uh, specifically stepwise uh, initially give the batch, the first batch of tickets, and I'm reading off of this to you. Uh, initial batch of tickets for $50, $55, and $60 increments, the first $50 batch you do as a 100% rebate. So that way you're generating price momentum because once the $50 tickets are sold out, which are rebated, which you don't disclose, the $55 tickets seem all that more pleasing and attractive. Also, the $60 tickets. That's in that tweet, gua gua guacamole number 11. Eternal escrow. Escrow is something on page 128 of the Wright Brothers book. The Wright Brothers book on selling something using escrow, internal escrow. The Wright Brothers had an operational prototype airplane. They invented aerospace engineering, yet they're still having to sell the French War Department to buy these airplanes using escrow. Page 128 of this book, okay, is how the Wright brothers used escrow to sell. Since you did not yet invent an airplane that is a working prototype that stayed in the air for 50 minutes, you will have to use something called internal escrow. Hashtag internal escrow. The sister document to internal escrow is one way letter of intent. One way letter of intent. Doing a contract with a Fortune 500 company, nearly impossible. Doing a one-way letter of intent is when, exactly Brady, is when one way is from, let's say me and Brady were doing a startup. We would then obligate ourselves in a one-way letter of intent where we step certain milestones. Exactly, this works great every time. I, I'll remind people, so this works great every time simply because you are obligated in a one-way method, a one-way letter of intent, so that way there's no risk in doing business with you. It's a great legal document. One-way letter of intent. There's a video inside of Engineering 145, bit.ly, bit.ly slash buster 14512W, as in Wharton bit.ly bit.ly slash buster 14512w. It should worry you that I'm that versed in quoting an HTML link. And the reason for it is that internal escrow and one-way letter of intent go hand in hand so well in helping you cross the chasm, in helping you do sales promotion at a point where most startups die inside of the chasm. So internal escrow and one-way letter of intent are DJ together within a 1991 book called Cross the Chasm. There's uh, Inside the Tornado, there's Escape Velocity. None of those things culminate as much as this video does. In Sell Before You Code, you're trying to get and building sales muscles and sales practice before you sell your own thing. The only time you're gonna be selling your own thing is during lecture five and lecture 11. Well, this is lecture number 12. So you're gonna go ahead and sell something that you yourself did not code. So sell before you build. Sell before you proactively make something and then hope that it sells. Brady thinks, Larry, yes, I will tell them that. Larry Chang reverse rebate model allows you to sell for zero dollars. It's massively different than just me giving it to you for free. It's charging you $50 and then rebating you back 100% of the $50. So let's say you're gonna charge $200. After they accept your payment, uh, after they accept your services and they tweet one positive thing, oh, you didn't screw up the thing that we paid you 200 bucks for, then you rebate back to them that $200. So if you give it to them for free, it'd be zero transaction, zero benefit, truly, because they'll just let, they'll just do nothing with it. But if you're doing a rebate, it's two positive transactions.